a career high 31 against number one Houston. Tyler Harris has been at between the schools. Memphis Tigers. USF is in the road green, and ECU is in the home white at home for the first time in 11 days. She won Jai. Game is back in there. Look for him to be shooting throughout this one. And finally, South Florida gets on the board with selfless. A lethal score in high school. Just trying to translate that into college. Look down low there. Early in the are coming in on losing skids, trying to, to get some momentum. It's LeCount trying to beat it at five and does successfully. That those totals a lot this year. A player that's bounced back from Memphis twice, actually. And also an I Thrown. Good move there inside for Selta Miguel for his second towards in for three. A little strong that time. Chiway going to see you. You know, the, the key is whenever you see the big is outside, he's not going to. That's Mardar who had the rejection coming off the bench. Black there. Coach Gregory was talking about he was concerned. He really pushes the ball extremely well. To Boon Jay with the run. You see that on the highlight reel throughout ECU. There's Miguel. Good kick out here. Conwell, the Indiana native, and delivers from three. Kick out. It, it's, he, he's on a real coach when he first got to Tennessee. <laughs> so it, it's to play with the American as an assistant coach. How about Miguel? That's his third field goal. All day you see him on a great assist right there. 22 North Carolina at Carmichael Arena. Should be a great game between Stale. Halo for three in front of the USF bench and a call would like to think. So you get caught up right there and he just kind of trips. It wasn't when you're that big and you fall that fast and hard, it hurts, believe me. I'll tell you, John's do some pick and pops with him, I think, to get him some looks. Walker contested with the pull up from 15 and he's got it. And that, and that the ball movement. They're sets from ECU to Bougio, the good ball movement. By two. Boggs, the Charlotte native, for three. He's got it. Hunter. Heinz Jr. with the pull up. It was a slow start for Chiwa, but finally gets his. Jalen Forbes, Kevin Cross, uh, Jalen Cook doing big things for, for Hunter. Heinz Jr. with the pull up. It was a slow start for Chiwa, but look they, for him. Well, one, about, one thing about Coach Barnes is he normally hires guys that have played for him or he worked with him before as one of the rising assistant coaches to get his first head coaching job. And he picked ECU for a variety of reasons, but loved South Florida. Side. And that's what Brian, the priest improved, but it's been crucial plays on the defensive side. And that's what Brian, he's been doing this against Wichita State. And I was talking just like that, by the way, by, by DeBoot. Point game, you see the flurry of lead changes. Harris from three, strong. Chiwa, better positioning down low on Johnson. The call will another one rebounded. But there you see Keyshawn, he's coming right. Keyshawn Bryan is that fifth year transfer from South Carolina, very versatile, really strong in the open court, and can defend, and it change there. Felton with the shot clock winding down, smooth finger roll with the left hand. Boston. With players like that, though, they really didn't need a coach. Felton <laughs> for three out of the time now. How about the move slithering in by Dabuje? A strong start. Job. And their perimeter guys are really hard. Women's big. Hines down low and finishes over o center. The right hand again, gliding through and bustling down. That was a really hard. They see a great rebound right there. Cornwell gets it and drives it hard. The biggest thing on that was he three CU. Chiwa. This is Miguel with the right hand back for Chiwa. Conservative effort for him for his second field goal. He changes Perry. In that first half, South Florida culminated that first stanza on a 6 0 run. ECU missed their last five. And he's been on the road. It would be their first conference win for USF. The second. Ten total three pointers combined. Nine players have at least one. Trying to go reverse yet again. It's Hines that was short the whole way. The American. Hines trying to get the miss. It's Johnson. That was on Miguel. It is his second. Agree with you there that they need to get confident. He's got to he's got to get the ball in an opportunity. He wasn't defending the way that coach wanted him to, and he came out of the lineup, and now he's defending and he's getting the inning ring. But playing real well, and there you see some to them than the other guys to send the message that was no favoritism, and I think that's what Coach Schwartz has done with the Moon Jay is made them understand that everybody's got to play defense, even.
that kind of sprung some wins and momentum for ECN. Got to go to him multiple times early on in this second half. Well, first of all, Brian Gregory is an excellent offensive coach. Yeah. Out of Michigan State tree, yep. I mean, they really run some nice stuff. And he'll make the adjustments to get uh, Chiwa. Chiwa, down low at the left hand. That was smooth from the big fella. But then again, you know, Boon Jay is not in there on him. Uh, 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 the bow, I'm sorry, he's not in there. Memphis boasts in two of the four as the last four teams into the NCAA tournament as it stands. Hunter and Tulane don't sleep on your green wave <laughs> as well, right? And they have really good basketball traditions. So, I mean, which is going to beat a lot of people. So it's a really, really good league with a lot of traditions. You know, he, he's given a green light. SF. Came out and hedged on that last play. I don't think the bigs need to hedge that far out because there's nobody to help them when the when their guy rolls to the basket.